Hey guys, it's Vivs here from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Android Navigation View that is a part of the Android Design Support Library. Before I start, there are two things I would like to point out. First, if you go to Google and if you type SlideNerd Udemy, you will find all the practical courses on how to make apps for the Android, iOS, iWatch and the Android Watch right there on my Udemy profile. Second thing, if you go to my channel SlideNerd, if you go to playlist, you will find this video along with the rest of the material design videos under this playlist called Android Material Design Series. Be sure to check out all the stuff available out here. Now let's get started. So let's take a look at the steps that we need to do in order to display the navigation view. Here is an image of the navigation view. It has an optional header and a compulsory list of items that you want to show inside the body. In the first step, make a new project. Step 2. Add the required Gradle dependency for the latest version of both App Compat and your design support library. Step 3. Create the header of the drawer. This is optional. Step 4. You need to create the menu items in the XML file. Header is also going to take place in the XML. Step 5. Add the navigation view with the header plus items. And in the step 6 or last step, handle the click events using the navigation item selected listener. So let's go to Android Studio and let's try to get these things done. So in the first step, I'm going to create a new Android Studio project. I will just say start here and then it's going to ask me the name of the application. I will call this navigation view demo. Once done, I will hit next here and then it's going to ask me the devices on which I want to support this. Currently, it's going to be phone and tablet with a minimum SDK of 14, which is Android 4.0. Click next. It's going to give me a template that I want to choose. I would like to have the one which says add no activity because we would like to build things from scratch just to show you guys what is the process involved. So let's click finish here. And there is my project on Android Studio. Let's take a look at the Gradle scripts. There are two Gradle files here. We would like to take a look at the second one which has module app written on it. Just open that file by double clicking it. You notice at the bottom that we have 22.2.0 as the app compact version here, which is the latest at the time of making this video. One more thing we need to add would be the dependency for the Android support or Android design support library. Once you've added this dependency, let's go to the top and hit this button here that says sync project with Gradle files. So now my build has finished without any errors. Let's go to the left side and start adding some stuff. So inside the app, if you go to Java currently, the package is empty. There is nothing in it. Let's right click, say new, go to activity, select a blank activity out there. Since we don't have an added main activity, let's keep the activity name as main activity, the layout name as activity underscore main, make it a launcher activity and click finish at the bottom. So there's my activity underscore main.xml and it gives me a message saying rendering failed with a known bug. Please try a rebuild. Let's try the rebuild as they are saying over there. This time things do work and I can see stuff on the screen. Now it still says that couldn't resolve resource dim in activity horizontal margin and four similar errors. We don't need that. We can go to the text tab and we can remove one, two, three, four, these attributes. Hit Ctrl Alt L or Command Option L on your keyboard and reformat things on the screen. Go back to the design tab and you should be able to see the screen without any errors right now. Let's go to the main activity and take a look at what's there. It is using this class here called Action Bar Activity and there's a message which says it's deprecated. Let's replace this with a new version called App Compat Activity. Your import for the App Compat Activity should look like this. Let's fix our activity underscore main.xml to support a drawer. If you take a look at the file currently, we got an action bar being displayed by default with some gray color. We don't want this, we want our own toolbar. And we also want our color primary or a material color theme over here. To do so, let's go to materialpalette.com. Once there, I'm going to select the blue gray color and the orange color. And this is going to give me the set of colors I need to paste inside my XML file. If you just click on one of, the, one of these items, the color just gets copied to your clipboard. So go ahead, copy all of them and paste all of them inside Android Studio. So to do that, I will go to the left area here where I have my values folder. Just expand the folder, go to styles.xml. Currently, there's only one styles.xml file. In the earlier versions of material design, you would need two or three of them, but not anymore. Inside this file, which would look somewhat like this, you need to add the colors. To do that, I'm going to use this tag called item, give it a name. Let's call it color primary here and then close the tag and 
paste the color inside that over there. Now remember that Android color primary is going to be supported only on devices that have version 21 or more. Now currently we are running on the minimum of 14 which is why you are getting this error. The way you can get rid of this is to remove this Android and you can just say color primary. Now the back ported version of color primary supports defining colors without using that Android identifier at the beginning. So let's go ahead and paste the other colors here in the same manner. Now I have pasted all the colors that I need. You don't have to paste it in this way. Rather you should go to the left here in the values folder and make a new file by right clicking saying new values resource file. Call this file as colors.xml and the type of the directory would be values over here and go bottom and click OK. Once done, paste all the colors inside this using this color attribute over here where you can specify the name, for example, say color primary, and then you can paste the value of the color from styles.xml, which would be hash 6078db, and let's paste it over here. And you can go back to the styles.xml, and here remove this reference directly and say color slash color primary, and this is how you're supposed to add the remaining colors as well. So once you have added everything, your styles.xml would look like this and your colors.xml should look like this. Let's go back to activity underscore main.xml and try to fix the navigation drawer. Immediately you can also see that the colors have started changing in our preview window over here. So going to the text tab, now I'm going to remove this relative layout and add the special layout called drawer layout. The drawer layout is special because it has two children. One of them, the frame layout, which would be displayed to the user all the time. It can be anything from a simple text view to a recycler view to a view pager with tabs. This green box here would be the navigation view in our case. Initially, it won't be seen on the screen, but when the user drags from the left to right, they would see the navigation drawer come on top of the frame layout. Once again, if they swipe back, the navigation drawer once again goes and hides itself and that's why the drawer layout is special. So there's my drawer layout in the activity underscore main.xml. For the two children, one of them, I would like to keep it as a frame layout. Let's remove the text view and add a blank empty frame layout for now. Make sure that it takes all the available screen space. The second item in our case is going to be the navigation view. Let's add that. So there is my navigation view, which is from the package support.design.widget. Currently, Android Studio does not give me suggestions while I'm typing this navigation view at the time of shooting this video. But maybe by the time you are typing code, you may get a nice pop-up out there. So there's my menu underscore drawer.xml that contains five items currently. If you go back to styles.xml, I have removed the color primary light, which I had placed here earlier because, of course, there is no such attribute and I forgot about it. Going back to our activity underscore main.xml, take a look at the navigation view. I have added an attribute here called layout gravity and I have given it the value of start. This simply means in languages like English where people read from left to right, the navigation drawer would be placed at the start which would equal to the left of the device. In languages like Hebrew where people write or read from right to left, the navigation drawer would be placed on the right side where start would mean the right and that's what the start attribute is all about. So if you're on the app on our device right now, this is what you see. We have our app running. If you drag from the left to right, you see our navigation drawer. However, if you click on it, nothing really happens. So what about item clicks? What about this icon at the top left that lets you open and close the drawer? What about groups inside the navigation drawer and a custom header? All these things are going to be covered in the next video. Don't forget to go to Google and type SlideNode Udemy to check our Udemy profile, our social accounts on SlideNode Twitter and SlideNode Facebook and all the code for this video and the rest of the videos on SlideNode GitHub which you can type on Google once again. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.